So I am still in Pie Town. I'm gonna try and get to I'm gonna try and get to Tunkinkari today, which shouldn't be too much of a challenge. I'm facing some weather though. There's this as I mentioned in previous videos, this really unfortunate jet stream that's causing warm weather out east and snow in the mountains. Rain exactly where I want to ride. After Tucumcari, the goal is to try and get to, or at least near Topeka, where I am going to hang out with Wet Banana Moto. And unfortunately right now, it's going to be a one camera endeavor because I lost the mount for the session. And until I can get another mount or figure out another alternative, we're going to be a one camera operation. So you're going to see a lot of jump cuts. Sorry guys. but. One of the questions that I got before the trip started was, why don't I use saddlebags? Why do I use the setup that I have here? Well, it may look a little crazy, but this setup works a lot better for me. And I got a few reasons why, and I thought on the journey today we'd talk about it. town so I got a New Mexico apple pie from there last night and obviously it's got apples in it but it also has pine nuts like this layer of pine nuts below the crust so there's a crust and then a layer of pine nuts and then apples but mixed in with the apples are chilies and oh man they taste delicious that was my dinner last night and I saved some of it for today. So I'll be eating that later on. The hell are you? I wonder if they're coming from the VLA because a very large array is up here and that looks like something that would come from the, oh my God, that sucker's freaking huge. Hey, just cross the continental divide again. That's kind of weird. In Colorado, like all the passes, Berthoud Pass and the Continental Divide, when you cross the Continental Divide, and in, in Wyoming and Montana, it just seems like all the signs for these, like the Continental Divide with her birth and Berthoud Pass, it's big signs for them. The Continental Divide signs that I've passed here in New Mexico have been teeny tiny. So, why don't I use saddlebags? Why do I have all this junk on my bike without the use of saddlebags? It's, I mean, anybody who's on a motorcycle, on a cruiser, riding long distance, you should be using saddlebags, right? Well, the biggest reason is I can fit a hell of a lot more stuff in the bags that I have on my bike right now than with the saddlebag options for the sporty that I've both seen and used. I tried saddlebags a couple months after I started riding and man, I didn't like it. And I'll get into some more reasons why I didn't like it, stating the reasons why I'm using this setup. So having all the stuff that I need, here's two more of those things, man. These suckers are freaking huge. Wow, I wonder what they are. So, the second reason why I use this two bag setup is weight distribution. So, I'm not a heavy guy. 150 pounds, 155 when I drink too much beer or have too many pies. And I'm gonna take this slowly because I don't want to get hit by debris 
And I'm gonna wait till this turn here and then probably pass him. Take a look what's going on. distribution so I'm 150 155 pounds on my heavier days so I'm not a heavy guy so when I'm on this 562 pound bike when it doesn't have stuff on it it's just my weight streamlined on this bike so that's what I'm used to you know I'm not used to a whole bunch of weight pulling me one way or the other having the weight in line with me helps me control the sporty a lot better and while in a previous video I said it's much more fun to ride this bike with all the crap without all the crap on it while that is true having it set up like this I can control the bike the way a sporty is intended to be controlled it doesn't have too much weight pulling it one way or the other the weight is all in line and on long trips like this that makes a big difference, especially, especially in the wind. In an earlier video, you saw me riding along I-40, passing trucks at 85 miles an hour with all this crap on here. And I was able to do it confidently and comfortably because of how I have it positioned on the bike. It just, it makes it much easier to ride the bike. So when I first used saddlebags, a couple months after I started riding, and I had stuff in it, the weight distribution is wasn't ideal. I mean, I could put crap in either side and balance the weight out, but sometimes that's just really difficult to do if you have a lot of gear, like I do. And the last one, the last reason why I don't use saddlebags and I use this two-bag setup wrapped around my sissy bar. And I wish this guy would get off my patootie because I'm going 65. Dude, you should just pass me. And that last reason is related to how streamlined the weight is. Wind resistance is a hell of a lot less when I have all this weight, all this gear in line with me. And as I hinted earlier, it's easier to control in the wind. But also, my fuel economy on this trip has been freaking amazing. I've been getting, at the start of the trip, because I was going slower, and it had more and I had more stops and starts I was getting about upper 40s miles per gallon and now I'm getting at minimum 50 miles per gallon and I'm 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 touching 53 54 my best has been 60 miles per gallon I was on I-40 which was an amazing ride I was on I-40 most of that day going 75 to 85 miles an hour. And when I stopped to get gas, I was astounded by how good my gas mileage was. It gives me more confidence in getting from gas station to gas station. Even though I fill up around every 75 miles or so, or try to. So those are my reasons for not using the saddlebags and going with the two bag sissy bar attachment method. And it works for me. It works really well. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Helps out this channel an awful lot. If you're new here, or if you watch a few videos and you haven't clicked subscribe yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And, of course, click on that bell icon so you know when I upload videos just like this one. And as always, ride safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Have a good one.